Hey guys, surprise, you get a video today. Um, as this is coming out, I am scheduled for a C-section tomorrow on Monday. Um, as I'm filming this on Tuesday, I haven't had any contractions or anything yet, so I'm still projecting that that's going to happen. Um, and so that's what I'm planning for. Um, there's still a chance that it, you know, she could decide to come between now and then, in which case she would probably be a um, non-scheduled cesarean, which is like not as big a deal as a, an emergency one. Anyway, today's video, I wanted to show you what's in my hospital bag <laughs> right now. Nothing. It's all right here in front of me, and I'm organizing it and making sure I have everything I need. Um, we packed this up like the night before, a couple days before our ECV. Um, I did a whole video about the ECV process, and since the um, the worst case scenario is there, like the complications for an ECV all involved having the baby that day, um, we decided to bring everything with us. So it was the hospital bag was just in the car in case something happened and we needed it, um, and so a couple of those things are still in here, um, even though, like, if the, everything goes to plan, I won't even really go into labor. Um, but I still have a couple of things. So, for example, I've got massage lotion. Why would I take this out? Maybe I can talk my husband into giving me a massage. Um, a fan, because it's summer, and, and that feels really good right now. All right, so these are getting tossed in here. Um, oh, by the way, this bag, this is just a fun story. This is just like a little gym bag that I purchased from a sporting goods equipment store in... Paris. It was technically inside Paris? Yes. And um, because I needed to bring all of my books back home with me from Europe. Um, and so this was filled with 50 pounds of books when I came back from my year abroad. Uh, let's see. So I've got, yeah, massage lotion, a fan. This is my like rice pack with just rice in it that you can microwave and use as a heating pad. Um, again, like why not? It's in there. It can be useful for soothing stuff. All right, um, I probably am not going to need swim trunks for my husband. This was um, something that if you're having you know, vaginal birth and you want to use the shower while you're in there for hydrotherapy, um, you can be naked in there and no one cares, but they do want your husband to have something on, so bring those. There's also a change of clothes for him in here. He may probably will not end up needing, well, he can use them, but he'll be able to go home and get clothes and stuff while I'm in the hospital. Um, as far as for me, let's see, I'm going to be in the gown during the actual procedure, um, and then I've got like a pair of sweatpants and a t-shirt here. I don't know what I'm really going to feel like wearing. Um, I feel like having the, just the gown and stuff might be the most comfortable, but I um, was watching some other videos and people are bringing robes and I was like, you know what, I've got these robes from, like, I got, like, so many of these robes when I uh, had my bridal showers. So this one's cotton uh, and it's just, you know, it's a lightweight little robe thing and so that might be nice to have. I figured I'll toss that in. I also am including a nightgown um, because, yeah, this can probably, I can just wear this all day. Um, it's like a low cut v neck with the sort of overlapping things here, so this would be really easy to nurse in. And then I've got one nursing bra because that's all I've ordered. I have a very difficult size, so I'm gonna have to go to the bra store and get fitted, but I bought that one online and we'll see what we think uh, to get started with when we're nursing tank top because that's what I've got. Uh, I've got a pair of fuzzy slipper socks with the little grippies on the bottom. These are like old and ratty, so I'm going to toss those in. Um, a pair of normal slippers with grippies on the bottom, so I can wear those too. Uh, an old pair of flip-flops that I can wear in the shower, or down the hall, I guess. These all go in the shoe compartment, which is a handy thing that gym bags have. I never go to the actual gym. This is just my overnight bag. Um, then 
this is a wet bag that we will be using for diapers, but for now, um, I'm just planning on using the diapers that they provide at the hospital, the disposable ones, while we're there. Um, it's not going to be worth it for me to create more diaper laundry while we're in, in the hospital Not don't have access to a washing machine. So in here I just have a few sets of um, the bra pads and um, cloth postpartum pads in the dry compartment of the wet bag. Because, we'll see, maybe I'll feel like using the disposable pads that they have at the hospital, but I feel like there's a good chance that I will feel up to just wearing my own because they're just going to be a lot more comfortable. So that's in there. Um, I got myself some granny panties, some briefs. I haven't worn these since I was a little girl, and then size up from what I usually wear. Um, because they say that you got to be careful to avoid the incision site and so you can't wear you know low-cut uh, underwear. Toss the nipple butter in there because I have it. This little bag here has a couple of granola. No, okay. This is just to make things easier to find. A couple granola bars that I had a couple of rosaries, my charger cable or spare charger cable, this one's six feet, and headphones because when I'm alone I'll probably be wanting to listen to podcasts or something to while away the hours that I'm not able to sleep. <laughs> I'm probably going to be in the hospital for like at least three days and that sounds I mean, despite having an adorable baby to look at, kind of boring, so. Then uh, this bag, unpack, repack. This is just a little makeup bag that is from Sephora. Uh, we've got a travel hairbrush. We've got a non-electric toothbrush and travel toothpaste. And travel deodorant. I've got uh, travel shampoo. A baggie with some um, vitamins. Got a hundred vitamins. And then I fully intend to not bother using mascara, but I have it just in case. Some face wipes because that's going to be a lot more convenient. Uh, if I feel gross, I can just wipe myself off with those. Chapstick because you always need chapstick couple of headbands and a scrunchie. And because it would drive me nuts if I have like an edge of my nail or a bump or something um, along the edge of my nail, if I don't have a nail file available, I will pick at it and it drives me nuts. So I always have to have a nail file with me. So that's in here too. And then finally, and I probably should have packed this bag upside down because now this is going to be at the top. I have a maternity dress for me um, for going home. I just figure look nice for pictures or something. I don't know. And then for baby, we've got a couple of onesies here. I'm not sure if we're going to want to just have her swaddled or, you know, some onesies while we're in the hospital. And then this one's cute. little kimono onesie uh, with some flowers on it for coming home in. Um, also... A hat, a couple, of those, a couple of those little, there's probably a name for these that go over her hands to protect her from scratching herself, and a couple of pairs of little baby shocks. And that's everything for her. And so that is the whole kit and caboodle, as they say. I won't be able to lift this after I've had my C-section because it'll be too heavy. Um, but that is everything I've got, and that's my video for the day. Um, next time you see me, well, the next time you see me will be for pre-recorded videos, but next Sunday, um, if I manage to make a video, it will probably have a quick glimpse of the baby in it. So, I will see you in that one. Have a good day. Bye.